unpack computer that we looked at earlier before and see how we would go about ordering a replacement drive for that. I'm going to show you the process that I use. The first thing I do is get the model number of the drive we're trying to replace. This one is CRX835E, which you can see by the arrow up there. Now the place I like to buy my drives is on eBay. So the first thing we do is type in the model number CRX835E into eBay. Now that model number is obscure enough that we can just type that and that only will probably get uh, search results just for that CD drive and we do. So we got 19 results here, different varieties. Um, of course I'm going to sort them by price first. Now if they want to use one, I'm going to keep the search results as they are, just sort it by price. Look for the cheapest one that's sold from my country. Uh, here's one sold from Texas. And they have good feedback, 100%. They only have 181 feedbacks, which is, in eBay, it's not the greatest. You want somebody that has sold thousands if you really want to be safe. Let's try the first one on the list. They're from New Jersey. And they've sold 405 items. They have 100, so that's a little bit better. Um, $25 is the price. And let's see. Its item is in work, working perfect condition. It was pulled from a 100% working HP laptop. Okay, that's fine. So the item condition is used. Now, if we really wanted to uh, get a search result a little more narrow and try to find a new one, let's just type the word new in there. See what comes up. Only one result found for new. And two items found in eBay stores. I've bought from eBay stores as well. They're fine. And this is in Taiwan, the new one. So I don't like buying from another country just because it takes too long to get here and the shipping is more expensive. So I'm probably going to stick with a used one like I looked at before. So anyway... And we'll probably buy the one there from New Jersey, the first one back in here. And that looks like a good deal. Now I'll just end off this movie by showing you a series of clips of me taking drives out of different laptops. Just to give you an idea of the variety of ways it can be taken out and uh, use the methods that used to get that done. Now this compact is one of the ones I was talking about earlier where it's a little bit of an older machine. You actually have to get under the keyboard to get the CD drive out. And to get onto the keyboard, you first have to take off this plate that sits above the keyboard. I unscrewed two screws from the back a little bit earlier. And with those screws out, now I can just pry it up. It's easy to pry from getting under the hinge covers with like a flathead screwdriver. That's how you get that plate off pretty easy. Then we've got to take off four screws above the keyboard, get the keyboard off, and then we have access to the CD drive. Now, in more recent years, they changed the design of most laptops to make it easier to access the CD drive, but this is how you did it when this computer was made, which is probably around 2003, 2002 perhaps. Now you just flip up the keyboard, you can leave it attached, and it exposes the two holes where you have to put the screwdriver in to get those screws out, and then the CD drive will come out after that. There's one. There's a second one. Push a drive from the inside, pops out, and there you go. Now another laptop I'm not a big fan of because they get a little bit intricate is the Sony Vios. And for this one, which is also an older model one, you got to get under the hard drive to get the CD drive out. So you take the hard drive cover off, then you got to take the four screws off that hold the hard drive in. There's the tiny screws. Can't really see it in the camera. You pull the hard drive out. It slides out and pops up, which exposes two screws there and there that you need to unscrew to get the CD drive out. There's one. There's the other. Now there's nowhere to push the drive out from the inside really, so we're gonna take our paper clip, put it in the drive hole there, open up the drive, and then pull it out that way. 